attention. Unauthorized person present within the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Please report to the Central AI Chamber to begin identification. Please be advised that concealed firearms in the facility are strictly prohibited. Place the concealable firearm on the floor and walk away. Keep in mind that disciplinary actions will take place in the event that the person in question does not discard the concealable firearm. Place the concealable firearm on the floor and walk away. Please be advised that there are known side effects from carrying a concealable firearm, such as injury to self and others, causation of murder, followed by death of murderer. Are all humans this violent? If you're done playing murderer, I'd like to get started with the testing. That gesture indicates to me that either you're clueless as to what I'm talking about or somehow the humans have undergone devolution up on the surface, to the point of being unable to comprehend coherent thoughts. To be fair, both are possibly true, as you may have devolved enough to the point that you are clueless about what I'm saying. If in case you can understand me, I am the genetic life form and disk operating system that runs this whole facility, and I will be your testing supervisor. We at Aperture Science commence testing for science because we can. Since I am in dire need of test subjects, I will need you to fill out some basic information, so you can be registered as an official test subject. I am a bit curious, though. I wonder how you even managed to find this place. Oh, wait. Maybe I could find something in my security cameras. Oh, here it is. According to the footage you seem to have dropped in. How nice of you. Anyway, aren't you going to tell me your name? Clearly I can't tell whatever gender you are based on how you dress. For all I know, either you're a male with ample plumpness in your chest area and everywhere else on your body where you're a female with ample plumpness everywhere on your body are you just going to stand there until i run out of comments about how blubbery you are or are you going to say something and believe me you won't be able to live long enough to hear them all oh that's sad your parents never gave you a name you poor pathetic thing. Oh, your adoptive parents never gave you a name. That's even more tragic. You know, I once knew of another homicidal mute orphan that was once a test subject here. Oh well. I'll have to take it upon myself to give you a name then. Human. Your identification is test subject number 105312. Huff and puff your way into the elevator as I begin briefing you on the testing procedures. And by briefing I meant beginning at once in a test chamber by plopping you in. Like a balloon. Filled with lard. Before we begin any proper testing. You will be required to run these simple, non-lethal test chambers as a trial run for compatibility to perform these tests without any discrepancies. Due to the nature of this preliminary testing procedure. I am permitted to direct you in completing this chamber. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. I like my humans how humans like their steak. Well done. You're doing great. At almost putting me into sleep mode. Almost. This concludes the preliminary testing procedure. You will now test in standard testing chambers. You could have asked me what that cube was you used to redirect the thermal discouragement beam also known as the deadly laser. It was a discouragement redirection cube. This next test will introduce you to portals. Get used to them, as they will be your primary means for solving tests. The blue barrier you see before you is an aperture science material emancipation grill. Don't worry, it only disintegrates unauthorized equipment not meant to be taken outside or inside of testing areas, like your pocket knife and gun if you still had them. These emancipation grills also serve to deactivate any active portals every time you pass through them with a special item you'll receive later, making them excellent testing obstacles you'll come across within the chambers one day. Hey, the material emancipation grill log recently showed that a bundle of bullets was destroyed on your person a while back. You didn't need them anymore since your gun is gone but I felt bad you lost them. Tell you what I'll repay you in as many bullets as I'd like sometime soon. Well you've been awfully quiet for a long time. Did the metaphorical cat which may or may not be dead get your literal tongue? Fortunately for you the next test chamber is where the real fun begins after a short break. Apparently if I test too hard, test subjects have a tendency to collapse and not live anymore. Vital hydrating liquid is available in the next room. Surprise. Believe me, 
This wasn't an attempt to kill you with a surprise entrance. If I wanted you to choke, I'd lock you in a room and flood it with deadly neurotoxin. Not so fast. I'm not going to hurt you. Not as long as you do everything I say. I am here to explain to you in person about the objects in this room behind me. While you were testing I custom made these Aperture Science Long Fall Boots from the information I gained when I scanned you in my chamber. You will need this in conjunction with the next device for the upcoming test chambers. Try it on. These long fall boots were specially designed with the sole purpose to absorb the shock of impact of falling from great heights. Granted you land feet first. Good. Now to test them. Remember to land feet first or else I'll have to wait for another test subject to fall from the surface. This is the weighted companion cube. You will take it with you for the duration of this test. Consider it like a partner in crime as you go about the test chamber like escaped criminals dodging fire from the turret police. If you are feeling bad about the turrets, don't worry. They're as much a part of this test as you are, and just as sentient. Hello? Apparently, the stairs couldn't take your weight and broke underneath you. I heard a crash, did you break something? You didn't sit on the portal gun on your way down, did you? Look, I know you want to be the silent type, but this is serious. I'm being sincere right now, where are you? I can't see you. Oh, you're still alive. I don't know what you just did, but don't move while I fix this. Oh, that's interesting. Did you think I meant your name? I could care less. Honestly, I still can't tell what gender you are. I mean, what kind of name is that? Your parents, or most likely your adoptive parents, did not love you enough if they gave a name like that to you. I know. It was very mean of them to name you that. I will give you a better name to go by. What's interesting is... That I now know you have the capacity to talk. I was beginning to wonder if all homicidal orphans were mute. But it seems to only apply to one so far. You on the other hand are apparently the verbal kind of homicidal orphan. In any case, I would like to move on with the profile completion process, human... Your identification is test subject number 105312. Hobble and wobble your way into the elevator as I begin briefing you on the testing procedures. I agree, your ample posterior does have a tendency to do that. And by briefing I meant beginning at once in a test chamber by dropping you in. Like a stone. Made of lead. I know, I'm disappointed too. Congratulations, you have achieved the testing record of wasting the most time to complete a simple test even after I told you how to solve it. Ugh, why do they always call me that? That's not what I meant. They normally pronounce it as a Gladys, to which I don't understand that either. The scientists, of course, they were terminated from employment here. You know, let go, thrown out, discharged, gotten rid of, fired. I could go through the entire thesaurus of similar terms, but those are my favorite. This next simple test involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Good luck. My test records show that the probability of dying to deadly lasers is 100%, with a 100% being test subjects who were stupid enough to stand still long enough for the deadly lasers to kill them. You haven't even attempted it yet. You're helpless. Do you see that cube right there on the floor? That's a discouragement redirection cube. There, now you can solve it. That's a discouragement redirection cube. There, now you can solve it. Fantastic. You do have the cognitive ability for solving tests after all. Oh, don't worry. I'll pay you back tenfold or in as many bullets as I'd like. I find your terror mildly entertaining, but I'm not here to murder you. If I wanted that, you'd be dead by now. Proceed to acquire the Aperture Science handheld portal device on that pedestal. It'll be much better than the gun you used before. This Aperture Science handheld portal device will create orange and blue portals on flat white surfaces. Even though these intradimensional gates have been proven to be completely safe, the device, however, has not. Do not touch or look directly into the operational end of the device, and do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Sorry. I was busy at the moment. And whose fault is it for not following directions? Where's the fun in making them undeadly? Look. It's not as though I didn't see this coming. Sooner or later you were going to defy me. You're not wired to follow orders. Humans I've come to learn, like having choices. 
just as how you were given choices to pick which hallway you want to traverse. Since you've made your way here, I'd like to announce that you've been selected to participate in a brand new testing initiative. This is the start of the Maze Navigation Testing Initiative, a completely enclosed maze filled with testing apparatuses in order to find the exit. When I say so, you may begin testing. As per this test protocol, I must record your time. Now you may begin. Looking for the exit, you won't find the exit because there isn't one. To be fair, even if you somehow managed to complete this test, it would activate the neurotoxin emitters anyway. I just wanted one final kick out of toying with you before you kick the metaphorical bucket. Guess who? It's me, your old friend. Where friend means I hate you on another planet. I'm flattered by the praise of my passive aggressiveness. But this is my fail-safe response to anything asinine. Humans just happen to be the most asinine creatures on the planet. That's not how that machine is used, you muppet. What's so funny? It's like you never heard me say muppet before. Okay, go ahead and laugh. I'll wait until either you stop on your own, or you expire from lack of proper airflow. And this is why I have trust issues.